The Red Sox have come home after a bad time in Detroit and New York, a one and four road trip that has pushed the Sox to five and a half back in the wild card and behind three other teams for that third and final spot heading into this weekend against the White Sox. We'll take a look at the Boston starter, Nick Pavetta. He's on for his 22nd start, his ERA a touch above four and a half. He is a fastball pitcher, a lot of strikeouts, 141 and 117 and a third. He gets the ball over the plate. And Nicky Lopez, who hit a leadoff home run in Baltimore on Wednesday, and the Sox 8 1 win at the Orioles will lead it off again tonight. The 2 2 is sort of a loop shot to short, caught in the air by Rafaela. And at last, Lopez is gone, one away. And here is Robert, who had to leave the other night. Precautionary measures with tightness in his hamstring. Swing and a miss at a slider. And Robert is gone. But look at that location. That's where you want this pitch. Pitch low and he walks. He's been doing that quite a bit of late. So a two out free pass. Sox have their first base runner. So Vaughn will come to the plate with two down. Outside on a cutter. Ball four. So Pavetta with back to back two out walks. And now he'll have to deal with Gavin Sheets. One two. He got him to go. He struck him out. Got him with a curveball. Saves himself any more work in the inning. Two left. Davis Martin going to the mound for his seventh start, eighth appearance, looking for his first win with an ERA above three and a half. Duran attacking that first pitch to Nicky Lopez. Makes the throw for one down. This Red Sox offense has not been scoring runs lately. One of the big reasons is that Rafael Devers is really in the throes of a terrible slump. Slumping Rafi Devers going to knock one into right center field for a base hit. Man, did he need that. He had been 0 for 13 and 6 for 50. Now Tyler O'Neill, the left fielder. He gets away on the swing and the miss. Raffi will move up to second. Good dirt read there by Raffi. Got away from the catcher Robinson. The 3 2 is outside, ball four. So the Red Sox, as the White Sox did, have two on here in the first with one down for Willier Abreu. And he got him on the changeup. That is the new pitch acquired this season for Davis Martin. He gets his first strikeout. Now Massa trying to salvage the inning now. Yoshida, 286, nine home runs. Swing at the first one, a drive to center field. Robert Jr. will make the catch at the warning track to end this first inning. Red Sox leave a pair after one scoreless. Top of the second, Lenin Sosa leads it off. Lenin Sosa just shoots that one to the gap in left center field. He would take the big turn at first, and he's going to keep going a second. He will have a stand up double. To start this second inning. A smart approach. Nick Pavetta, fastball heavy guy. Didn't throw it as much as we're used to seeing the first time or the first inning anyway, but he starts off with one here, and Sosa, who had three hits on Wednesday, was ready for it. One down. Infield in with one out for Chucky Robinson, and it pays off a hot shot right back to Nick. He gloves it beautifully, throws to first, and Chucky is retired for out number two. Valdez was going to make that play too, but Nick, beautiful reflexes and two down. Here is Jacob Amaya, a right handed hitter. Driven out to left center field, and Amaya coming through in this second inning as the Sox get on the board first with Sosa scoring a 1 0 lead. And unfortunately for Pavetta, he's ahead nothing and two in this count, but he cannot put the nine hitter away, and the leadoff double. Does come back to bite him in spite of his great defensive efforts to get that second out. And it's Pavetta winning that battle. Three strikeouts in that fourth inning. So he K's the side, working around the single by Chucky Robinson. And as we go to the bottom of the fourth, it's still White Sox one, Red Sox nothing. See so the Red Sox can't get into the run column here in the bottom of the fourth inning. It is one nothing White Sox. William Abreu will step in against Davis Martin. Uh, oh, well, spins around and did he get hit by that pitch? Yeah, he did. He's going to be sent to first, but Abreu in some pain. That toe was getting worn out. The training staff had to give Willier Abreu a look, and he will slowly walk down to first base. And now he sprints to first base to test out that foot. Looks okay to me. Painful way to increase your on-base percentage, but Abreu is at first. And here is Yoshida. Oh, did he get another one? Yeah, he did. Another hit batsman here. Masataka gets drilled. Foot fire here in the fourth inning. As Martin hits Abreu and Yoshida on the cleats. Not an ideal way to start this inning. Two on, nobody out. And here's Casas. Base hit into left field. Abreu charging around third. And he's going to score to tie the ball game up. 
So Tristan Casas in need of a knock gets one here and it's a 1 1 game. So there we go. A nice short swing loud contact the other way not trying to do too much. Just kind of barrel it that hole. You know those guys are in the shift and he hits that hole in a brave speed. He's going to score even though he lets it go by him. Still enough speed to make up for. Sox getting aboard. Need more. One out in the inning. Valdez will bat. He's one for one. Hard hit. One hop. Lopez to a mile one and on the first for the double play. Taylor made. Shades of City Field, a 4 6 3 inning ender. The Red Sox do get one. Inside, that's ball four. That's a terrific plate appearance for Gavin Sheets. And it's a leadoff walk, and that'll bring up Sosa. Off the hill. Tap the bag. Valdez made a nice play to turn two. Nice job by N. Manuel Valdez. 4 to 3 on the twin killing. And that wipes out the leadoff walk. Base is empty, two down. High fly ball, that one deep to right. Abreu backing up, backing up. He's there and he's got it on the warning track for out number three. So after an 11 pitch leadoff walk, it takes just five more pitches to get out of the inning for Nick Pavetta. Two down. That brings up Yoshida. Yoshida hit by a pitch last time. He'll flare that one down the left field line and off into the stands. You gotta make that play, don't you? Yeah, you gotta. I mean, it's softly hit. I mean, this is just kind of like off the end. It might have been tipped. It might, it might give him an excuse. The guy behind him might have tipped it. Yeah. So I can't really get on him for that one. Oh, another shot. Same spot. So you have a chance at this one. Oh, it's dropped again. Wow. The same guys. Could like, it have been the same guy? I think it was the same two fighting. We got to communicate. We need some communication. Like I got to hear. I got it. Got to be kidding like, me. Like wave the hands. Wave him off. Somebody's got to make a catch down there. Can we make it three in a row? Oh, oh, he got hit again. Wow. That one really following Masataka the second time he gets drilled. And that's three hit batsman by Davis Martin. Becomes a point, obviously, there's no intent in any of this stuff, right? I mean, it's a two strike count, but still, when you're drilling three guys, it doesn't sit that well in the dugout. You can hear it too. Oh, that one got him. That's a bad spot to get hit. Yeah, he's going to stay in for now, but the amount of pain he's in, you'd forgive him if it. It flares up a bit later when the adrenaline wears off, so we'll keep an eye on him next time through. Lifted high in the air to center field, but this one will stay in the ballpark. Robert, about five feet in front of the dirt, makes a catch. And we head to the seventh in the series opener, tied at one from Fenway. And Matt Foster on for just the fourth time, hasn't given up anything yet. Well, this game is up to the two bullpens. 1-1 one, one tie. Pitch number 12. Down low, ball four. And a nice round of applause from his teammates in the dugout. And Manuel Valdez, a 12-pitch walk, and he gets the go-ahead run aboard in the bottom of the seventh. So Rafael to climb in, a strikeout, a fly out tonight, 0 for 2. And St. On swings and drills one. Deep left field, back to the monster, and gone! St. has got the clutch gene, and a two-run homer puts the Red Sox in front, 3-1. to one. Boy, did he need that, huh? Little hanger first pitch. You know he's hacking with everything he's got, and when he gets a hanger, boy, inner half. We've seen him a long time, now he doesn't miss it. But this is a good swing and a fantastic catch. Like, show the people down the third base line how to do it. Please, yes. Great grab. Look at him, he's excited. Hasn't even looked at his girlfriend yet. There we go. <laughs> Say it on Raffaello with a shot, number 15. That makes it 3 to 1, Boston. Josh Winkowski on for the second save opportunity of his career. It's 3 1, Red Sox. So, two down, it's Chucky Robinson. And the White Sox are down to their final out. This is a feeling they are used to. And the 0 2 coming. Field to Bray back it up. He's got it, and the Red Sox win it. Well, the Red Sox win the opener from the White Sox three to one. Their game back above 500, and who knows, maybe a spark to start a fire.